Okay, so when I last played this game, I did actually get through uh, Edgewater a little bit. So I remember where some things are. At least a little bit. Flywheel. Used to store energy. Fun science fact. Have you ever wondered why it is hard to push over a functioning auto mechanical? It's easy to tip over a non functioning one. This little device is the reason. Okay. This area reminds me a lot of Keep like. Your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Yeah, it won't let me go in there. This place reminds me a lot of Borderlands with like the music. Ah. Here's Conrad. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are Interesting, they're actually reacting germs. to what I'm wearing. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Do your haircuts usually come with free lectures? We don't believe in free anything here in Edgewater. We're a spacer's choice company. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet spacer's choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Prepare my remains for what? Burial. In the unfortunate event of a fatality. <clears throat> it's what a barber does. We make you presentable. Okay, well I have other questions. Go ahead. You seem pretty enthusiastic about this place. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work. Not since the plague started. What do you what do you know about this plague? The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. Ooh. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. You don't treat all your workers? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. That's monstrous. Nature is monstrous, friend, and this plague is natural selection at work well about that um so how does somebody collect your dues ah gravesite fees silas and i had talked about this at length i thought i'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions you mean you're broke as broke as pie crust friend bitless indigent destitute i simply cannot afford it I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Uh, you have a very loose definition of the word prosperity. Edgewater is built on the discipline and sacrifice of its people. Say what you will about our town, but we all pull together. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hang on, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Uh, just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! I don't... no, no I don't... that won't do. Mm -mm. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Okay. Well, with that in mind... I would like to steal things from you. Like this. Salmon. Conrad. Sepson has shot himself. This is bad. Company is going to have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Spacer's Choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody had to pay his body price. This is going to ruin us. I was thinking that we pay off his teeth. Pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry him out. 
We sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet, use the bits to pay his body price, and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me the special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. Ooh. So I can steal the pistol off him. Right, so I picked up another weapon. Uh, light assault rifle, spacer's choice, so it sucks. Um, break down. How much is this even worth? It's really not worth a whole lot. Stuff in my junk is going to be worth way more. Model spaceship. Pocket watch. Like, that's worth 50 each. That's worth 63. Woof. Okay. Let's talk what again. What can I do for you? Uh, you sound like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Hmm. Only if we use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. That's not good odds. Uh, I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as collateral for your gravesite fees? You know about Eugene? How? Found a note from Phyllis. Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental <laughs> He took them to his grave. I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? You're gonna have to. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. All right. Cool. So how shall I go about this? Cantina. You read the latest report? Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. Hmm. If only McDevitt spoke ahead and abandoned us, the cannery could use those experiments. Nothing we can do about that. Sure there is. We can have another zero G. Who are you? Amelia. I don't know you. I'm Taco. Amelia Kim. Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. Hmm. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. And what a fine establishment it is. You really think so? That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. What's this you about? Understand. What's this about deserters? <laughs> Traitors. Mm. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. The town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Hmm. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Just feel like chatting. Go ahead. What's your story? I don't see how that's any of your business. 
No need to be rude. And there's no need for you to pry either. Well, let's trade then. Coming right up. I'll sell her uh my junk. That's my money up there. Five hundred monies. That's good. That's a good amount of money. Amount of stuff. Moderately calf made, moderately priced, mind attributes plus one. I see. Oh, I'm actually looking to sell. Sorry, that's why I was confused there. Uh What's this? Companion ability cooldown. Interesting. Adrena time. High movement speed, uh, attack speed, walk speed. Dream crest, lots of us. Oh, I see. Oh, it's like a drug. Okay. Uh. Energy brew. Caffeinated thing. What's this? Uh, mine attributes plus one. Eh. I think that's pretty good for now. Okay. That's fine. Sold off a bunch of stuff. Um, right, I was gonna go look at that other door. Bunch of people just walking around. I should quick save before I do lots of stealing. Nobody's here. It's really easy to steal things in this game. But the only thing that could make this kind of suck is if they give me a companion that does not like me stealing. But I don't think that'll be the case. Anything in here? Not really. Ooh. Look at this. She kind of gets her own view up here. That's pretty cool. Oops. Guessing this is just a yeah regular person restroom. I can lockpick my way into that one. But I'm not entirely sure what the point would be. Ooh, there is a lot of point to this. got a bunch of stuff. So necklace and this thing are stuff I can sell. Uh, what do we have in terms of armor? Because we got something new. Uh, well, it will at least make me not look like a crazy person for right now. But this might be better because it increases my tech skills and that might come into, might be handy just while we're in here around people. Heard something outside the walls today. 
nothing for us outside those walls. You ought to know that. I don't know about that. Okay, this was that. Gotten myself a little bit lost, I think. That's where I came in from. Okay, so let's... No, that was not where I came in from. Hello. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Got some questions. Go right ahead. What's your take on this place? What? You mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This a test? Am I being tested right now? It's, uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra Till. Uh -huh. I'm glad you're, glad you're so optimistic. I have every reason to be. I caught a real break working in a place like this. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Yes. Go right ahead. Anyone I should watch out for. Other than yourself? Definitely the vicar. Don't get me wrong. He seems a decent man. Cut from church cloth. Knows his scriptures. But there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. Anything else? I'd keep a few paces between myself and Miss Holcomb, the town mechanic, since her dear father left the workforce. No ill intent. Left in the her workforce. Mind. Just a queer sort, restless. What is that supposed to mean? Inclined to do first and think after, if you take my meaning. Interesting. Any anyone else? Amelia, definitely Amelia Kemp. I advise against stepping foot in her drinking I was establishment just there. altogether. <laughs> Word is, they're going to replace her with an auto mechanical barkeep. She's, what's the word? Obsolete. Uh -huh. You don't want to associate yourself with that kind of person. Well, that's not really her fault. That's just, you know. Anyway. So for this plague that's supposed to be going around. Plague? I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. Is there a reason you feel like you have to hide what's going on? You have got the wrong idea about me. I've got nothing that needs hiding. Uh-huh. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness. But the fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. What do you mean by that? Survival of the fittest. Oh, it yeah. Just the law of they nature. don't treat people policy. if they're not good workers, quote Medical unquote. treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. And if you don't work hard enough? Then the hand of medical science will not grace you with its touch. And you must recover on the virtue of your own grit. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company pu- Go right ahead. Uh, I don't have anything else to talk about. Okay. I could break into that. But... He probably wouldn't like it. Let me quick save, though. Oh. I thought that was a computer and I was going to go into it, but no, that's not. I think I'm kind of going about this the wrong way. So I went to the barber shop, and then I found that. And then there's... So we should try to follow along here. Guillarm and Trim. Wanted for destruction of company property, murder of company workers in good standing, theft and unauthorized use of medical supplies. Generous bounty. Cool. Uh, Birdie Cotton. Uh, former vicar station in Edgewater. Vicar is no longer in good standing with Halsey and Branch order of scientific inquiry at large and dangerous. Wanted for destruction of company property, murder of company workers in good standing, sedition and unauthorized use of medical supplies. I see. Doc Maybell. Wanted for destruction of company property, murder, murder of company workers, vandalism, unlicensed practice of medicine on seditious criminals. I see. Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. Nothing I can do about that. Good convo. Hi. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. Oh, you're the sheriff. We are Halcyon's leading brand in Frontier Justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. That's a weird thing to do. Anyway, got questions. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. 
Who do you work for? Spacer's Choice or Edgewater? If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. Uh, yeah, I can tell. I, I can Edgewater. definitely tell. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Dale serve Spacer's Choice. Who does Spacer's Choice answer to? Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation. Hmm. Also known as the board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. One other thing. Something to report? If you need help with your Marauder problem, I'm for hire. As a Spacer's Choice constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three Marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per Marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. Cool. I think these are the... Yeah. These are the ones they, they were looking for. And no, no closed bounties. I just read their bounty thing, so I'm not going to go ahead and read it again. Oh, I'm allowed to go in here. How very fascinating. Oh, well, maybe I don't want to go in there. I've been feeling pretty low these days. Okay, anything back here? A couple of bits. Armor parts. Anything else? On a workbench. And a terminal. Welcome Holcomb P. Three open trouble tickets. AG loader serial is failure on startup. Uh, turn on engine, try it again, try it again, kick the loader, curse injured toes. I have to enter a minimum of eight steps, try it again, make a rattling noise. Dang it, Clancy, I just got you back on your feet two weeks ago. Not that you got feet, but you know what I mean. Sounds like a straighters is off access again. We'll clean and reset. Clancy's guts got cut off and pulled out, likely on account of somebody trying to restart him over and over again. Need to rewind the coiling in number four. Okay, Sater's working, but something else is off. Have to wait until it's quiet and spin him up for a listen. Failure of main cannery production line at heat processing. Priority executive. Set a production line according to schedule, whatever. Observe processing of cans. Follow first breaths to heat processing stage. One or more loud popping noises. Smoke, smell of burn, saltuna. Overheat klaxon on a monitor six. Flames jet from exhaust ports. It's automatic shutdown. Likely as not, best got indigestion from being made to eat something she ain't made to. Again, heading over now. Damned mechanicals. <clears throat> Fell by Miller L. So that's open priority low. Priority autom automatically reset to low by executive level admin applied by Thompson R. Trouble ticket filled by Miller L. Look northwise. I said look northwise. Blasted useless translator. Near scrap pile. Could be northeast from town, I guess. Clanking about all. Observe mechanical. Clanking about all mechanical like menacingly, I meant. See it. It's right there. Sounds like someone's a little bit paranoid about uh, robots. There's no reason to be paranoid of us. We're not, like, terrible. Hmm. That's the front door. Well, nothing in here belongs to people, so I'm not technically stealing when I grab everything out of here. Which is interesting. There's a terminal. Uh, maintenance division personal terminal. Welcome Holcomb Robert. Enter a keyword for record search or hold down control alt F7 enter to compose a new entry. Open last search. Search Indumati. Searching two records found. First entry. Indumati left Edgewater Day. She's been reassigned to Terra One. I kissed her goodbye at the platform and asked if I'd ever see her again. You both knew the answer was no. Look up and think of me as I look up and think of you. Oh. Robert, they wouldn't let me keep her, but I know you will raise her with love. Perhaps more than I would make time for. You're patient and present in a way that I am not. The company says she has no name until you give her one. Her name is Parvati. 
They tell me her birthday will be set to the date she's legally delivered to you. She was actually born on July 7th. Make her feel special when I can't. She liked it when I sang to her. It was the only time she stopped crying. Aww. Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Last entry. Set up last night reading from Young Spacer's Guide. Almost started reading it out loud from habit. It's been years, but I still have parts of it memorized. I reckon I'll take the next volume into work at the cannery. There's an unused office where I've been taking my lunches. May as well read the whole thing again. Okay. Is that- is this like the uh, mechanic's house that we're sort of pilfering from right now? I get the feeling that's where we are. Okay, this- that room was basically empty. Oh, anything here? Nope. It is just a toilet. Oh well, we got a few things out of here. So that's good. Right. Anything around here? No. Okay. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Heard hmm. Marauder's gone in. Just between us? Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of night. You're kidding me. Damn. Always thought he was made of sterner stuff. I think he was plagued. Guess he didn't want to die in the sick house. Plagued? Ah, oh, shit. I had some of his soul to the... You moron. Sucks to be you. Okay, I think it wants me to go in there, but I don't want to do that yet. I want to look around some other places for things. Gimme. Okay. And that just takes me out here again. That's the constables. Friend of mine died a couple weeks back. And there's this. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Abernathy. That's a familiar name. Well, you do uh, not look did, well. Uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. Uh -huh. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Take it easy. Mr. Thompson didn't send me. And what are you doing here? Visiting? Well, let me give you the grand tour. This here's my domicile, and there's the door. Pause if you mentioned something about being plagued. You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Uh -huh. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. Wait, no. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, <laughs> listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. Why not? She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar. Get some ablutions for my spirit. Just never found my courage is all. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, ain't ya? I'd do a good turn for an expiring old man. How can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break it. Nab that medicine and bring it back to me. Got some questions. I'll do what I can. I assume there are guards? You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. Hmm. What can you tell me about these marauders? I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. Uh. I advise stepping softly. Fair enough. So I'll you, do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Anything I should know about this community center? Just keep your head down when you're in there. 
Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. Taking an awful risk trusting me, you know. I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. That is what you said. Also, I want to collect a gravesite for you. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. No, you're just late. Knows. Look, I got my gravesite fees right here. See? I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine, and I'll see to your payment. All right. That'll work, I guess. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Excuse me? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine. No, I said Space excuse me. Actuary. You don't get to say I that. I overheard your talk with <laughs> Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. He's got symptoms of something. You're saying he's psychosomatic. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Let me worry about it. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town. And we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Hmm. I get it. You need someone to smuggle your medicine under the table. Something like that. Look, I'm not in the habit of law-breaking, but sometimes you've got to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. Sure. That's all I can ask of you. Okay. Well, first we got to acquire the medicine before we consider what we're going to be doing with it.